Hello and welcome to Skill Plates. This is a new deal from AppSumo and it's aimed at those of you who want to sell online courses. It's an online course platform. It's going to help you generate courses, test them out, host them, and it's got a lot of good features. I've spent a couple of hours this morning going through it and there's a lot I like and there's a couple of bits I'm not too sure about. When you first land, you'll see this dashboard. You can see I've been completing these activities. For payments, your only option is Stripe. Once you've got that set up, that's going to be your only option to receive payment. I highly recommend watching this video, skimming through it at least, because this will give you the basics of how to get started and create an MVP that you can pre-sell in order to find out if people are interested in that. Now, if you've already got a course that's doing well, uh, you can easily add that in. I'll come to that in a second, but let's, let me just show you the AI course generator. This is included on all tiers. AppSumo have kindly given me tier two to show you. The AI course generator, you can use it as much as possible. You have to give it a course name. For this example, I'm saying how to successfully launch a new SaaS product. That seems pretty fitting given there's a lot of SaaS products available on AppSumo. And we're off. Now this can take a while. It's going to use AI to outline the course, the structure, and generate information for the sales page. What this doesn't do is generate the course itself. So this is really just to give you an idea. You still need to know how to do whatever it is or you know whatever promise you're making. You need to know how to guide people to the resolution. What this is going to do is suggest the outline for you to review. Once the AI has completed the course, you'll be dropped into the general course settings. So you can see we've got the product name, We've got the subtitle, it's then created an about section, why this course, skills your game. And even if you've got an existing course, I would recommend generating this AI thing for your existing course to get some ideas on how you can present it and what kind of points you can include in your sales page. So we've got a lot of good stuff here. It's made up some testimonials. It said it's free and uh, we're not going to connect any communities at this stage. And then on the left here, you can see the curriculum. So if we just click on, you can see there's nothing in here. It's not built the course itself. So introduction to SaaS products, market research. And if you want to, you can drag these into a different order. So creating a value prop, it's all good stuff. And you can re rearrange these, rename them, whatever you want to do. This then is ready for the course settings. So we've got it's published. It's down as pre-order because what they're encouraging you to do with this platform is to generate a general course outline and try and pre-sell it. So before you make the course, don't make a course and then try and sell it. You should try and make sure there is some demand for the course. So being specific, so rather than how to launch a product, I've said how to launch a new SaaS product. That's quite specific. And pre-order sales will be until November 13th, which is one month from today. You might set a maximum number for the, sh the students as being, you're only taking on 50 people in this pre-order, for example. And then you've got a course thumbnail you can add, course library if you want to add anything you want at the moment. We want to make sure there's a landing page. Now we can go and view the landing page. And this is what it's created. Uh, so I I've branded my skill plate account already. That's why it's got this logo at the top, but we've got this nice uh, landing page. You can enroll for free. See it's taken naught of 50 and you've got the outline and it's only the outline. So they can't see anything because there's, there's actually nothing to see anyway. Then you've got the description and I think we can also add, yes, we can add the educator information. So you can add a little thumbnail and and then down the bottom, you can see you've got the educator because it's always nice. People like to buy from people. So you can include some information about yourself down the bottom. So you saw how quick that was. We've then got extra bits to do in the background because you'd want to go to settings and you'd want to go to tracking. You want to add, you might use tag manager. You can add analytics for, but importantly, you could add a Facebook pixel. And that's one of the ways that you could then sell your course or pre-sell your course, add a Facebook pixel, run some Facebook traffic to that landing page. Now you might be wondering at this stage, what are the limitations once you get going and creating the course? Well, I've got the deal preview sheet here. I can't show you all the, 
I can't show you all the tiers because this is just a mock-up, a PDF of what the deal's going to look like. It's a preview for me to take a look at. Starts at $79, goes up to, don't know what, looks like there's a few more tiers. And the main restrictions are around the number of contacts, users, video storage, minute streaming, and there's a commission fee as well. So lower down your tier, you're going to be paying more in commission every time you make a sale. I'm on tier two, so I get the 5,000 users, and it's interesting. For video storage, and I'll come on to this in a minute, they've chosen to do not by size, but by the hours of video storage. So keep that in mind. If yours is very video heavy, if your sessions go on for hours and hours and hours, you're going to want a higher tier because they do the hosting. And then if we scroll all the way down, you can see you've got unlimited bundles and products and admins and all that kind of stuff. And then right at the bottom, it's a bit, a bit hard to see because it's split across this page. The add-on is video storage add-on. So you could go for a lower down tier and then pay for more hours. And you've also got a 0% commission fee. So if you want to have a lower tier, uh, but don't want to pay any commission at all, you can actually pay $399 and that's no commission for life. I imagine the higher tiers, which I can't see, that commission will drop a little bit further as well. Now, don't be too concerned about the video length because you're not forced or locked into only using their hosting. It does look good. It's all nice and integrated. It's very slick. You can see you just come in here, you select the file, you upload it, job done. But if you actually come down to the description, you'll notice this little button here. We can insert media. I'll just paste in a, a YouTube video of mine. And there you go. So you can paste them in. And then when we preview it, you can see it looks great. This is natively uploaded to the platform. So if I click on external video, it loads just as fast. It looks just as good. And then you can always have some text or whatever else you need underneath it. Now, if you're interested in checking all this out, I'll put links below. There'll be an affiliate link to the deal page. I've also got a link to a competition. AppSumo have kindly provided me with a code for this. So you can win this completely free of charge. All you have to do is click the link below enter my giveaway. That'll be ending in the next week or so. You can also add down the side little lesson resources. If we go on over here, this little tab, resources, I've uploaded an ebook that you can download and read and that helps go along with this. If we close that, we scroll down, we've got the main video. If you've got additional information, you can write text down the bottom. So in this case, I've created a template and here's a link to access the template. So you can, you can signpost other resources in the main description as well. Now also note that we've got this powered by skill plate, powered by skill plate down the bottom as well. So if you go to settings and branding, you can see you can add your own logos and icons. And then to remove the skill plate branding, you have to contact them to discuss the removal process. That, that's a little bit weird to me. I don't know why it's not just there. I don't know if that means they're going to try and charge you for it. I, I'd rather they have a little bit more transparency and per perhaps it's too difficult to do at a flick of a switch. I don't know. One thing to note though, why you might want to keep this on is it looks like when I hover over power by skill plate, it looks like a referral link. So if your students are liking this environment, want to launch their own, they could click that button and you may actually get, gain some commission from it. So you probably do want to leave it on, but you do have the option to contact them and discuss how to take it off. Now you can see in the back end, we've got a dashboard which shows your earnings and accounts and top five products. If you have any orders, you'd have them here. We've got a list of products. So these two purple ones are a couple of AI ones. And then I've been experimenting with other courses. We've got online courses where you can then just view them all. So you can make sure to add nice covers. It looks really good compared to it just being blank. You can create a product bundle. I've not really finished that yet, but you simply go in, set up a bundle, you manage the products and you say, well, let's add these in as well. And let's maybe also add in a community access. So you can bundle all these different elements together, charge for it, one-time fee, installment, subscription, really good system. Now, in terms of communities, it's not actually a community platform. If we go into it, if you want to create a community, uh, it's connected to Discord. So effectively, this is just is a link to Discord and you would need to set that up, link it somehow. I'm not really a Discord person, so I don't understand that. So it's not an inbuilt community platform that you might have expected, but 
it does give you the option to spin up a Discord community and charge for access to that. Now, generic products just seems to be extra bits and pieces, so extra content donations. And then if we go to downloads, we can do a new download. And again, it can be your sheets, online guides, that kind of stuff. And that's if you want to have this as a separate element rather than it being part of a course. You've got options to manage your users. There's also a website section. So I've shown you a landing page and they're great. If you want to actually have this as a full website, you can do so. This area is, is pretty good. I haven't tried it yet because I just wanted to show you this section. There's only two themes that are free. If you actually want to use any of the others, you have to pay $49. I think that's not great, if I'm honest. I think if they're trying to get people up and running, selling products, they're going to take commission. I've never seen a platform then try and charge you for some of these themes. I, I would have thought they should be included. But there you go. I have asked the developer on chat for their reasoning about that, but they've not come back to me. If they do, I'll edit it in so you know what their response is. So let's just say I want to launch with a starter theme. We'll say add. So this is my first time doing it. I'm going to be very interested to see how this Work. So it's installing the theme. We're now going to edit website. And I'm guessing it's just a nice, simple, easy to use builder. So here we go. We've got the background image. So we've got the logo at the top. So we can select a file from file manager. So there you go. Very quick logo width. So presumably this is going to make it larger or smaller, depending on what your logo is. So we can go down and edit each of these looks like it's pretty simple to update and then if we wanted to add a new section presumably we can do that add a new section then at the side we've got there we go special sections so this looks like it's uh, i mean it's pretty standard for a website builder it seems like it's pretty easy to use kind of reminds me of brizzy actually if you've used brizzy on wordpress it's got that kind of vibe to it we can view it in tablet mode, you can view it in mobile mode. And then at the top, we can easily flick to the different pages. And there we go, it's preloaded in the different products that I've been having to play with. So that's a site builder, it's pr pretty easy to use. Like I say, the one thing I, I think they really should improve is offering you the themes at no cost, but anyway, there we go. If you want to, you can customize the emails that get sent out. So you've got subscription failures, payments, all that kind of stuff, new courses, new bundles. There's a lot of customization you can do. There's a full file manager included. If you want to offer a discount, this is a pretty cool option. You can do so, give it a discount code. So that might be Black Friday 2025, and the percentage discounts might be, you know, 50% off. Unlimited uses, no, let's have it one per person, and it can be used just for a hundred times. So we've got a bit of FOMO going on. It's across all products or specific products, and it's across one-time installments and subscriptions and the duration forever. And you've got active dates as well. So you've got a start date and an end date. Create the code, and then you'll get some performance data. So this is such a nice, easy to use system. Referrals. Now, this is what I was talking about before. If people click on your skill plate branding on your site and sign up, you will see that in this section here and so you might earn some commission from it and then plan and bills billing just shows you what you're using so i've got no students at the moment no users and this is the 30 hours tier 2 is 30 hours and i'm not really sure what will happen if you hit the 30 hours whether they'll ask you to upgrade or whether you're going to a payment plan that's an interesting question i have to check the appsumo page once it goes live see if they've got any help on that so curious to know, what do you think of this? It looks pretty slick to me. I'll put links, I'll put an affiliate link to their main deal page and I'll put some links to the product pages just so you can go check them out as well. See what the landing page looks like, uh, see how it's presented, that kind of stuff. Um, maybe you'll even sign up to those pre-sale ones that are gonna cost absolutely nothing just so you can go through the experience and see what happens. Hope you found this good review useful. Thanks for watching.